everyone, welcome back to another lesson here on the channel. Today, very exciting, we're gonna be talking about Helium 10's Adtomic. This is the PPC tool that I have been waiting all my life for. This is really cool. Uh, it's got me really excited. It's basically making it so that you rarely have to go in and manually touch your PPC. It's gonna do a lot of the hard work for you. It's gonna give you a lot of data to look at very easily. We all know Amazon's interface is super clunky, super annoying to use. So this is gonna be solving problems for me. It's gonna be solving a lot of problems for you. We're gonna be going in, looking at my actual PPC data. I'm not just doing a month. I did like the a whole year to really put some stress on this thing and see how it can load, how it can look at all that data. Now we're gonna be reviewing Adtomic today. So stick around. It's gonna be a good video. So I wanted to let you know that if you comment down below and you have any questions about this tool or PPC, I'm gonna be answering every comment. In addition to that, if this video gets 500 likes, I will do a two hour Helium 10 product research live stream in which you can come and watch me do product research with black box be using a bunch of other tools within there in the keyword section other than that let's get into it there's a lot of stuff to cover if you run ppc on amazon right now or you're thinking about starting to sell on amazon this is the video for you let's get into it all right we have arrived this is adtomic atomic atomic by helium 10. okay this is the dashboard this is where we're gonna land if you just go to your Helium 10 and you go on the sidebar, this is different now, but your normal Helium 10, you go into the side, you go to advertising or whatever, well, I forgot what it's called. Adtomic will be listed there. Click on it, it will bring you to this menu. Now the dashboard here, like I said, um, not many videos about this. I've seen a couple, um, they do like 30 days of information. I did all of 2020. I wanted to just see if this tool could handle, it's like, yeah, maybe it could automate, but can it? you know, handle a stress test of a ton of information uh, being pushed onto it at once. So we did all of 2020. Um, now the, um, one of my favorite, absolute favorite features of this is the total ACOS. Um, I love seeing that. I used to have to calculate that manually with a calculator, like go in, look at total sales, look at advertising um, sales, and then, you know, do the division and then you end up going, oh, okay, we don't really have a 49% A cost. We have a 3% A cost, which is actually really, really good. Um, so $128,000 in sales on this little uh, public case study channel. We did the macrame shelf. We ended up doing picture hanging kit, which we stopped selling and uh, the black macrame shelf. And then this year we have some updates coming to that. So stay tuned. Anyway, here it is. So we have um, this dashboard. It's very plain, very simple. And what I'm comparing this to is I'm comparing it to Amazon's advertising dashboard, which right away, this looks a lot better. So let's just go over some of the features of this. Of course, we have the PPC spend. It's gonna show you how much you spent on PPC. Overwhelming majority of our sales were uh, organic last year because we went to really low competition markets. PPC sales, so just launch sales basically. A cost, direct correlation of this divided by that. It's your advertising cost of sales, total sales on the account, and then you have your total A cost, which is your total PPC spend divided by that number, which is how you get that. Um, which again, we just established that you used to have to do that uh, manually. Now we're just going to show you right away. Um, I would say ideally you want your total A cost probably uh, under 15%. That means if you have a 40% margin or 30% margin, somewhere in that 15 to 20% overall net margin. Um, if you can go into really low competition markets and have good margins, um, then you could start achieving stuff like that. We come down here, the summary box, um, we'll call this a box. These are boxes. I'm gonna show you products, campaigns, ad groups, and keywords. Now this is all keywords. So really cool. I'm, I'm, we're going to be getting into that a little bit more. Uh, we're going to sp be spending most of our time in the campaign section. Top five products by spend, top five products by sales. Then we have highest A cost campaigns. I like that they actually put the highest ones there because it draws your attention to them and we might be able to automate those to get them lower. It also, like it's it's not just showing you what you wanna see, it's showing you what you need to improve on. So that's why I said this tool, is probably gonna like get you to where you need to be with your advertising, right? So those are like, they're bringing them to your attention. Like, hey, these are not performing well, you need to optimize these, or you need to set us up so we can optimize them for you. Instead of just like, hey, look how good you're doing. Look at all these low A cost ones. 
um, and then highest spend keywords. So just because you spend a lot on a keyword doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be um, a bad keyword. It's just letting you know kind of these are the main keywords that you spent the most on. So section that I want to go into first is campaign. So why don't we go into there? And again, it's just going to keep the same time frame that we said set on the dashboard. Come in here once it's loads. Like I said, I purposefully put a ton, uh, like a huge period time frame in here, because I wanted to see in real time how it's going to be able to handle that much data, a whole year's worth of data. And if we look at this, um, it did it pretty quickly actually. In the time that I was explaining what was going on there, um, I went ahead and did it. So it's going to sort all of your information just like this. So you have your campaigns, right, right here. And then you have your spend, sales, ACOS. It's going to sort your ACOS from high to low. I think it does that naturally. I don't think I did that. Um, and then you have your return on ad spend. Pretty much everything that you'd be seeing if you were to go into Advertising um, Manager on Seller Central, it's going to be showing you that right here. Now, um, a really cool thing that we can do is if we just want to show you this. This is the analytics page, by the way. You wouldn't really be... Um, changing or automating anything from this section. Um, we'll be doing that in ad manager, but what you could do, right? Say like we wanted to come into one of these campaigns and you wanted to treat this dashboard as like your new hub for optimizing your PPC campaigns. You're just like writing off, which I think you should do by the way. I really, with this tool, it's completely replacing my need to go into clunky old Amazon's advertising platform. I could just come in here. I could go into keywords. And then if I wanted to change something manually, like how I would just on Amazon, uh, I would come in here. It would load up the information from Amazon. Of course, you have to connect your Amazon account to this tool. That's how it's getting this information. And then here we have our bids. We can just automatically do like a, a classic edit right here, right? So we see that this one's a little high. Maybe we want to reduce that. And in real time, I go ahead and I take that down to 50 cents. And I just hit check, apply changes. And it's going to apply the change for you. Okay, so that's how you would execute a natural um, PPC old school, just your hand doing it, you're optimizing your PPC campaign by yourself. Now, what I wanted to do was I actually wanted to in real time, go show you how to set up their automation feature. That's a really cool thing. If we come over here to the side and we go into ad manager, this tool is the one that has me really excited. Okay, we said our favorite feature on the dashboard was that little fact that it's showing you your total a cost it's showing you where you are um you could do that by week you could do it by year you could do it by month um, it doesn't really matter it's just going to let you kind of know where you are but when we come in here this is where kind of the magic starts so again it's going to show you your um a cost for everything and then these are a bunch of different products so if you wanted to change that you could actually um go into the campaign type um, and you could select if you just want to see your display ads or your product ads, you can look at all campaigns or just enabled and then targeting type. You could look at just manual or just autos. You can also also um, select specific portfolios and specific products to look at. You don't have to look at all of your um, campaigns as a total storefront. But anyway, let me get to this feature because this is what I was talking about. So from here, there's some cool things, right? We could do some bulk adjustments. I love bulk adjustments, saves you time, right? We can manually adjust budgets from here, enable pause or archive campaigns directly from Helium 10's Adtomic tool. The coolest thing about this that I would have to say is this right here, bid algorithm target ACOS. So what that means is you see this target value right here, right? If we set this for 30% edit, whatever we set this to, Helium 10's Adtomic is going to be using Amazon's data and suggested bids and building bids automatically for your keywords as if you were sitting on your ad manager constantly updating your bids to try and get it to where it needs to be. Now this is up to you, right? Maybe you want to be really aggressive and you want to go with like a 65% um, target ACoS, even though you only have maybe a 35% margin. You're looking to spend a lot of money, get a lot of sales. Well, we'll get to that in a second, excuse me. But you want, um, you know, your campaigns to be optimized a little bit higher so you can get more data and you can start getting more sales. Or long-term uh, success, 
and profitability. Maybe you just want like these to be sitting right around um, 35%, 30%, whatever you set this to is the point. We'll go to 35 since we're all at 30 right now. Apply changes. Now what that tool is going to do is it's gonna make sure that that, well, this one's technically called aggressive. That would be a good example of one that I wanted to put higher. Um, that's why it has such a high cost to begin with. Um, just bidding high on keywords and positioning for them, holding them out so other people can't have them. Um, so again, maybe that one, actually let's change that really quick. We wanna put that all the way up to 75% ACoS. So maybe we're willing to spend a lot on that one campaign. Um, and then the budget, maybe it's a little too high if we're gonna be spending that much. See, the point of this is that I'm doing this in real time and you can make all these changes right here. There's no need to go use that clunk yield system. This tool right here, is going to change the future of what it means to advertise on Amazon. If Amazon had done this, uh, I would have my mind blown because their system's so clunky, but the fact that Helium 10 went and did this and this now works so effectively, like you can see how fast these changes are being made, right? We go edit, want that one to be a little bit lower. I mean, pull that one down to, wow, that's changing it very slowly. I'm gonna 20, 26 for this one, do that. Go into edit. You don't have to hit apply changes right away. Maybe this one we want at 21%. We do that. We come down here. This one's at 80%. Uh, we want that at 29%, 28%. Then you could just apply all your changes. So when you're strategically looking through here, you don't have to come check. You know, you could do this by week, by month. You don't have to always be sitting down and adjusting your PPC uh, like an office job. I'm, uh, honestly, like you're an accountant or something looking at this data and these numbers all the time, you can tell, uh, you know, a software's algorithm to, Hey, set me up for success here so that my campaigns are basically optimizing themselves. And all that I have to do as a seller is maybe I check in once every other week and see how good the software is doing at getting them there. Think of this, like employees that are running your business for you. Okay. You wouldn't leave them alone for five years, right? Like don't put all your trust onto this. Let it be your employees that work for you. And then you come in two days of the week. Well, that's for a real business. Maybe here you come in once a week, you come in on Sunday, you check in with everyone, you see how the work is getting done and you see how everything's going. Everything's on point. You leave them alone for another week. If some things need some managerial suggestions, need need to kind of overrule what the employees are doing for a little bit, you make those changes, right? So if you ever at some point wanted to come in here and make changes, we go click into the campaign that works here too. It's not just in the other analytics tab. Um, we come directly into our keywords. We could see what this tool is bidding on, or not the tool, the campaign is bidding on. We go look at those keywords. And then when we come in here, all we have to do is it loads. Again, like I said, I purposely put a ton of information in here. Um, yours might be quicker if you're just doing a week's worth of data. Um, so once this loads, all we have to do is we go in, we hit edit, we change something. Maybe this one's a little too high, right? Or this one's definitely too high. Here's a good example, managerial override here. Uh, maybe it didn't get it low enough. So we're gonna say, okay, that 58 cent bid is a little too high. We're gonna come in, we're gonna crack down. We're gonna go down to 48 cents for you you're a little too high, maybe we're gonna go down to 51 cents for you, and then those look fine. Apply two changes and you are done. You can come into the suggestions area. Um, there's no data for me right now, that's okay. Um, what we can do is, oh, here's another really cool one. The change log, right? So the changes that your tools are making, this is where you'll find them, okay? You, you wanna know what your employees have been doing during the week and keep running with this analogy, AKA the tool has been doing and what's been optimizing for you. Go to the change log and you can find that information there. Um, another thing I wanted to do really quick, if we go into ad manager, no, sorry, analytics, these levels up here are important. Mainly keyword level is what I wanted to talk about um, with you because I was just thinking and I was like, if I had, tried to find every keyword that I had bid on for an entire year with across all of my campaigns, all of my ad groups, all of my portfolios, that would be like, that would take 
so many hours, I don't even wanna think about how many reports I'd have to go in and download for each individual thing. This tool is gathering all of that information from every single keyword that you have bid on or ASIN that you have bid on over the course of an, whatever your period that you set for it. I told you guys I did an exaggerated one, so it pulls a lot of information. It's gonna show you that information. And then again, it's gonna sort it from ACOS high to low. Like I said, the reason it's doing that is because, you know, we could come down here and we could look, oh great, look at all these super low ACOSs we're doing so well. It's trying to get you to look at the ones that need your attention. Um, and then maybe what we end up doing is we go and we set that up so that's automatically automating itself so that it doesn't get out of hand like that. Now, thankfully, a lot of these didn't spend too much and it's like not like $1,000 spent $10 sold, right? Um, so that's pretty much it. I mean, search term level, again, what that's going to do is it's going to show you not just what you bid on, but what the customers actually searched. This one's really cool. If we do this one by ACOS, I'm gonna show you what that looks like. This is a really, really quick, effective, and awesome way to get the keywords that are working for you. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have done it that way. We should just go this way. Get the keywords that are working for you, put them in new campaigns because your autos are constantly collecting new data for you. But look at all of these 10, you know, 10% ACOS uh, search terms. We spent $1.90 made 16, $5 made 46. All of those things are just begging to be added to um, new campaigns where you're sp strategically targeting them. You're not just targeting them in like a broad that it's related to or in an auto that you have no control over it. So a really good place to find negative keywords to target. And also speaking of negative right here, um, hey, we don't want this one right here. This is so underrated. Is that the right term? Yeah, underrated. Adding negative keywords from your search term reports. If we look at this right here, negative exact, floating shelves, add, it's already added. Um, so I've already done that, it's already been optimized. Add those ones that are in the search term level, giving you bad ACOSs because these are just the search terms. These aren't what you're bidding on. So if you add the search terms in there, you're basically telling your campaigns and Amazon's algorithm, hey, don't show me to this specific phrase anymore. But if you're getting sales from related keywords, continue doing so. So the level of control you have over here in a beautiful new updated interface is what has me so excited. Um, and I can't wait to just kick it back and let that automation kick into effect and then come in once a week or something, make sure everything is on point. So that's gonna do it for today's video. That was Helium 10's Adtomic PPC Manager. Give it a go, try it out. I have a discount code for Helium 10 down below. It's an affiliate link, you get 10% off for life, I believe, or 50% off for a month. Um, helps me out too. If you are interested in getting this, might as well use that link. Other than that, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. Don't forget to like, be sure to comment down below if you have questions, um, I will be getting back to you and subscribe for more videos like this one. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much, later.